Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in my household, it's me, my husband, and our 10-month-old little boy. So this week I am concentrating on using up stuff in my freezer, fridge, and pantry. So some of the things that we are using up today were some frozen hamburger patties from Sam's. We had about six of them left in the bag, so my husband grilled those up. And then we also finished off this um, bag of steak fries from Aldi. So this is my husband's plate, and he has the burger, of course. He has white cheddar cheese, some fresh tomato, and some avocado. And he does not like his bun um, toasted, so he just has it plain with a little bit of mayo. And then the steak fries, which I did make in the oven because my air fryer is too small. I need to upgrade. Here is my plate. I like my bun toasted with a little bit of butter. I've got some grilled onions on there and we finished off some pre-cooked bacon that we had in the freezer. We just had a couple of slices so I cooked that up and then also some grilled onions and I have Swiss cheese on my burger. So, and I'm not big on condiments on my sandwiches so no mayo, mustard or anything like that for me. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having chicken stew, and I did record a video on this, so that will be out soon. Um, but I first discovered chicken stew when I lived in South Carolina, and my coworker brought this to a potluck. Chicken stew is something that is just very popular in that area of South Carolina. Uh, popular like barbecue is to Texas. And so this is her recipe. I did add corn and potatoes to it. Now she did not do that, but um, this is really good. It's very rich. It's made with canned milk and butter and a bunch of other good stuff. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am using up something else from my pantry. Um, I have this in my pantry, the Street Kitchen Asian Scratch Kit Thai, I'm sorry, Green Thai Curry. And all you do is add chicken and vegetables to it. And it came with three little packets. Um, it had a little spice packet, and then it had a little coconut milk packet, and then a curry packet. And you just cook it on top of the stove top in a skillet. So I used boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I'm serving it over some white rice. And then we have green beans. Now, if you're wondering why the green beans look like that, it's because I got heavy handed on the garlic powder, and that is a bunch of garlic powder that you see. I didn't realize how much was coming out of the little spout and that's what happened. So I'm glad it was garlic powder and not garlic salt. The green beans I'm disappointed in. Um, they are from Walmart, the great value brand. It says fine green beans and it looks like little skinny green beans, which is what I prefer. And I normally get them from Aldi or from Trader Joe's. But I got these um, one of the last times I went to Walmart. And as you can see, these are not skinny green beans. These are regular, the regular size, <laughs> big green beans, I don't know what they're called, but they're the regular size. So I probably won't get them again because I do prefer the skinny green beans. And I also made a dessert for tonight. This was also in my pantry and I needed to use it up. It is the Betty Crocker pound cake. It was really quick and simple to make. And here it is, I cut it open so you guys could see it. And it is pretty tasty. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am starting out dinner tonight. I am making 10 minute stroganoff. This is a recipe that I've been making for years and years. So in my pan, I have eight ounces of mushrooms, fresh mushrooms that I cleaned and sliced. And I have a medium onion that I have sliced up as well. And then here I have a a little over a pound and a half of ground beef that I already cooked up and drained and seasoned. So I'm gonna add this back into the pan. And you probably hear Harrison, he is in the background. He is chowing down on dinner. It's like the best thing he's ever eaten in his life, apparently. <laughs> so what I used to season up my meat um, was this Slap Your Mama, which is a Cajun seasoning and then also some garlic salt as well. So to my skillet, I'm going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup. So I'm gonna drop it in. 
And this recipe is so quick and easy, which is why it's called 10 minute stroganoff. And if you don't want to use ground beef, you can always use ground turkey as well. So I've got that in there. And then you're just going to add 16 ounces of sour cream. Going to get it all in there. And then I'm just going to mix this together. And I have my burner on a low heat. So I'm just gonna slowly mix this together, let it all come together. I've also got some water going for my egg noodles. So I will come back and show you guys when everything is ready and I have it all plated up. So here it is, all plated up. I've got the stroganoff over my egg noodles. Honestly, guys, this is such a quick and easy meal, and it is so tasty. Like I said, I've been making it for years. We are also having some Sister Schubert's yeast rolls. I've been telling you guys that I have been working on this giant bag of yeast rolls from Sam's forever. And then we are finishing off those green beans I made the other night, um, the ones that I put way too much garlic powder on. Even though there looks like there's a lot of garlic powder on there, they really don't taste that garlicky, but they just don't look that great. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having this Motor City Pizza Company pepperoni deep dish pizza, Detroit style. I picked this up on a um, Walmart grocery haul not too long ago, and this is what it looks like. I cooked it in the oven. It comes in this little um, pan pizza pan, and I cooked it at 425 in the oven and pulled it out. Here it is. Um, it does not look as good as the DiGiorno pan pizza. That's the one that Howard and I really like. However, I do think they stopped making that. I have one more DiGiorno pan pizza in my freezer, and I'm holding on to it, but um, it honestly does not look as good. It does not look like this. So the DiGiorno pizza actually does look like this when you bake it. And this one, as you can see, no cheese, just kind of dry looking. But I'll make sure to leave a comment in the description box and let you guys know um, what we thought about it. I'm just trying to let it cool a little bit. See, doesn't look that great. All right, so this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I decided to pop back in real quick instead of writing our review just to tell you because we tried it and actually it's not bad. Now, like I said, it does not look like the picture at all. Um, it doesn't even look like the DiGiorno crust, but it's really good. So here's the bottom and that brown part is cheese. So I didn't realize there was cheese on the bottom of the pan. So it kind of baked in. So this is what the crust looks like. And you would think that this pizza is really heavy and it's not, it's really light. Howard said that he prefers this crust to the DiGiorno deep, deep dish or pan pizza. So I um, think we've got a winner here. The sauce is really good. It tastes more homemade. The pepperonis are good. The cheese is really good. So I would definitely buy this again. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.